Okay, we got our scene panel up here in the upper left hand corner. And below this, we have our assets, which is anything that we will use in our filter. This middle part is our workspace. Above, we can preview what our filter will look like on different devices, the iPhone X, let's look at iPad Pro. You can also see Android devices, but I'm gonna go back to iPhone. Below, we have our patch editor, console, and asset summary. And let's go back to our assets. So I've already preloaded some assets here. There are materials and textures that I've applied to these materials. And we will apply these materials to our 3D object to make it look and appear more like a donut. Okay, let's get started. So this is back in our scene panel. At minimum, we will have a device camera and focal distance. And inside of our focal distance, I've already set up a canvas user background and face tracker that is necessary for this donut filter. You can add all sorts of objects to this scene. I'll just show you the options here. 3D objects, 2D objects, different types of lighting and special effects. Let's add some 3D objects to our scene. So this donut was created from a tutorial on YouTube on Blender and I've placed it on a face tracker. You see it's not in a great place for a space on it to be, so I'm going to drag it down along the Y axis towards my mouth. That's a little better, but too close to my face. So I'm going to pull it out on the Z axis. There. Back to our assets. Okay, so I have this bread material and I've applied this bread texture to the bed material. And I'm going to add this material to our donut. Now let's add some space material as icing to our donut. Okay, looking more like a space donut. So over here in our inspector panel, we can do things like change the opacity of different parts of our 3D object. We can change the way the light interacts with the 3D object. So you can see if we change it to standard, it has a little more of a depth effect, but I'd actually prefer it with a flat lighting. Let's change the color of this donut bread to be a little more yellow. Okay, it's looking good so far, but let's make it a little more interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go to my background in the canvas object and I'm gonna apply a background material. Uh, let's turn on the visibility and you can see I've applied a background. So if you look at the toolbar on the left hand side, you can change real time simulations to test how your filter will look like on different users. Spark AR does support scripting and we can use JavaScript to make some really, really cool animations. And I just want to demonstrate how a few lines of JavaScript can make your filter even more fun and interactive. I'm going to show you two simple animations and first will be a little pulsing. For this animation, we just need to import two modules, the scene module and the animation module. Now we need to access our donut 3D object from our scene panel. Next, to make the animation, first you need to create the driver and then you need to create a sampler. Next, you combine the driver and the sampler to create the animation then apply the animation to our 3D object. Let's go ahead and play with the different parameters of our driver. So I'm going to change the duration in milliseconds to 500 to make it go a little quicker. And now I'm going to change the maximum size of our donut on animation to go a little bigger. There we go. Giant pulsing donut. For the next animation, we need the face tracking module. And here we go. So this animation is going to listen in to how wide our mouth is opening. And based off of the openness of our mouth, we will expand the donut on the X, Y, and Z scale. Let's play around a little bit with the different parameters of our sampler. So if I change the second parameter of the linear sampler, we can see that the donut will expand to 
twice its original size. And there you have it, two simple animations done with JavaScript for a Spark AR filter. And I wasn't able to go through my code line by line, but I do do that in my step-by-step -step guide on Medium. So please check it out with this QR code.